morning welcome to the soy corner for those joining us for the very first time welcome you welcome today we are bleaching hair before we color my hair we're going to just quickly track back because now i've already done the first part i bleached my hair already but i'm just going to take you back to where we started but before we bleach we're going to start off by just trimming my hair on the sides a little bit i was literally thinking about going in between going bold or whether i wanted to actually try a different color i decided i'm going to try a different color um but before i show you the color i'm just going to trim my hair i'm just using the one blade the one guard of my machine to just trim the sides of my head um just to clear off that area you guys already know i like a good um panga that's what i've been wearing what do you call the panga in english properly i forgot but anyway so that's basically what i'm using just to then um shave shave the sides off make sure everything is nice and clean i haven't shaved in about a week and a half so just to make it nice and clean because i really like nice and clean at the back i like almost a mohawk type of style i'm really used to doing to cutting my hair right now so it doesn't really feel like it's a lot of work um plus i make sure that it's not doesn't grow too much before i shave it so i don't lose the line that i've already created the initial time but i'm just trimming them in on the side and just making sure that they look nice and um fine and you know i like it very nice and bold so i'm just making sure everything there is nice and clean <laughs> It's a semi-permanent hair color with a pre-lighting system so basically first you 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 bleach your hair and then you then go in with the color right the box itself already comes with then a tub of a pre-lighting powder it comes with a bottle of pre-lighting developer a bottle of cream color cream sachet of conditioning treatments a um, bottle of shine serum instruction leaflet pair of gloves and of course a mixing brush now now i do not like the bottle stub of pre-lightening powder i re um, and i'm not even going to use it it usually comes in a very white boxy key that's the one but i am going to use my and i am going to use my bean go care keratin hair lightener um bleach and that this one i bought from virgin hair boutique about uh, a year ago and it's a purple one this is a big tub you can see the 500 gram one um i like it because instead of making my hair yellow it makes my hair white when i bleach it and it also doesn't give me that almost like my hair my head is burning sensation you know when i bleach my hair so that's what i'm going to use and i'm going to use a developer that i use from a different uh renew when i bleached my hair previously that's what i'm going to use and then i'm going to mix the two of them together and then apply that product it's almost a very like um runny product i didn't show you now what it looks like i decided applying once i check with a mirror to make sure i haven't missed any spots at the back and then once i'm happy with what it looks like the whole entire um, application process um and then oh, while i'm here i'm anyway also going to go in and just bleach my eyebrows again a little like because now they've got much darker i don't know why I'm, i actually decided to bleach my eyebrows when technically i'm even going blue and i'm not going like blonde but anyway, I just think it's fun that they are this light and for some reason it's putting um, that on them so much easier. So there you go. So you put the entire product. Once I'm happy, then um, you go in with, of course, you must wear your gloves when you apply the product. And then I put on my plastic bag head 
bag I always put it on my head and then I put a shower cap on to just keep um, my bleach on my head very nicely this bleach requires it to be wet for you to work that's why you need to cover it with like a plastic bag or a head cap and then it will stay like this for um make sure i'll be on my head for an entire hour and then i will go wash it up with shampoo but for now we're just going to we're just going to then wait and then i'm going to come back to you after the hour is done I just wanna make you mine My 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 Mine My 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 I just wanna make you mine My 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 Mine My 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 I just wanna make you mine The hour is over I have washed my hair It's not as white 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 but it's a good color actually to mix already at this point in time I like the way that it looks. Oh, look at my eyebrows. They also look very nice. I mean, my hair is not so much on my head, so I'm only going to use one conditioner sachet and then mix some of this into this bowl and then apply it on my head. So this should be enough for mixing. going to be blue it doesn't look like it's just blue not blue green Remain like this for an hour and a half. The next day. 